So guys, welcome to another edition of Morts and More Moment. Yeah. Um, we're here today with another viewer question. How can you match your tie with your lapel size? What's the best way? So, yeah. what do you think? Okay, cool. Well, how, how are we gonna answer this one? With this one, with when it comes to ties and lapels, um, when it comes to your, your, sorry, your suit lapel, your jacket lapel, which is this here, just in case anyone doesn't know what it is, Good point. and your tie, Right, um, the rule of thumb has always been to have match the same size lapel with the same size tie. So if you've got a skinny lapel, skinny tie. Wide tie, wide lapels. Standard size tie, standard size lapels. Mm -hmm. Now, where, like obviously the lapel isn't, um, isn't one complete size, because obviously it goes from big to small. And same as your tie, your tie go from small to big. Now what you're supposed to do- Other than both of us today. Other than both of us, other than <laughs> today, right? Other than today, but, so what the rule was, and this thing I'm saying what the rule was, and I'm gonna tell you our answer afterwards, but the rule was that the widest part of your tie should match the widest part of your lapel. So if I take this tie and I put it there, pretty much it there. pretty much matches, right? So by that rule, your this tie matches the lapel, the same as centers would probably be similar. Mm. Or maybe he's wearing wide lapels. He's wearing yeah. wide lapels, however, that is how the rule would go. Do we follow that rule? Not precisely. However, what we will do is we'll tend to mix up our look and if it looks okay, we run with it. If it looks off balance, then we won't. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Our ties tend to be similar to the lapel width, but we won't go completely, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we're not too particular about whether it matches exactly, put it yeah. that way. As long as it's similar, we're fine. Yeah. I think the only thing that we, we still kind of adhere to the rule in essence, so for example, I'll never wear a bold wide lapel and a skinny tie. Oh, of that, course, yeah. That just doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, this would be the skinniest tie that I get. Yeah. But then even when I put it on, the way that I try and match it a bit more to my, the size of my lapel, mm -hmm. is that I actually pull the back part out a tad. So it actually makes the tie a bit wider. Whereas like that, it's skinnier. So I'll go closer. So like that is skinnier. But what I do is I pull it out a little bit and make the tie a bit wider. And I think for us, we buy or we have our ties in relation to our suits. So any ties that we get, we already know they're not gonna be skinny ties. Oh, so we know that pretty much anything we have is gonna work with our outfit. So that's one way to start off. You know, If you have certain suits that have skinny lapels, and then you know that you're gonna have some skinny ties to match with it. Because yeah. again, if you've got skinny lapels, you don't wanna go for wide, no. a wide tie. So in that case, yeah, you have to look, but if you always go for a wider pole, you should have ties that always work. Exactly. So yeah, um, essentially, it, there is the rule of thumb, but it's not that whole, um, you know, the thing of matching your lapel size to your tie size. It's up to you whether you do it or not. I doubt very many people when they're getting dressed in the morning, put their tie to the lapel. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm fine. You wouldn't. I mean, I think I think the key thing for this is that visually, if you're looking at it, mm -hmm. it doesn't look odd. Yeah. So like as Senna said before, if you've got a massively wide lapels and a skinny tie, it looks odd because it just it's all over the place. However, if your tie is literally like how Senna's is, a tiny bit smaller, mm -hmm. like a, I don't know, a centimeter shorter than the than the lapel, it doesn't matter because visually, it's not going to throw off the look at all. So there's your answer. Cool. All right. And we hope that we've made that clear for you. Um, if any, for any of you who've actually been wondering, um, if you have any suggestions or questions and you know on this, send it our way. As always, if you have any questions or queries, please feel free to send those our way. So you can send them to our email address, which is ask at mortsonmore.com. Yeah. Or you can leave a comment below, whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, and we'll receive that. Or you can, and I think, no, there's no more or. That's where you can send all your questions. But, and you can follow us on all of our social media channels. So you can follow us on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and I think that's it. That's it. Right. And cool. yeah, until next time. More than likely, if you're that guy who wears running trainers with your suits, you wear a backpack. Because... <laughs> Now, um, someone wrote a comment. So should we?
in the middle of me talking. So give him my example. 